The Honourable Nanai Mahuta. Mr Speaker, New Zealanders will not be waiting for National's fourth budget tomorrow. They expect a zero budget, which means they have a zero plan, which means there has been zero growth in jobs because unemployment has gone up, and that means zero outcomes for hard-working New Zealanders. And, and that's what they're expecting tomorrow. No surprises on that front. But if we translate that zero budget, that zero plan, that zero outcome for Kiwis in education, what do we see? Treasury-led policy in one of the most important portfolios that that government is presiding over. 43 million in savings under National by moving towards larger class sizes and capping teachers at the current levels. And that's National's solution to grow the economy and the future of our citizens. We won't have a bit of it. Parents all over the country are worried about their children starting school and going into larger class sizes. The Minister confirmed time after time in questions in the House that her ambition in education is driven by Treasury, right. not by evidence-based policy that is proven to show educational outcomes for all learners, and in particular our most vulnerable learners. That is the type of education policy coming out of National. We should not confuse her ambition with her ability to deliver to all Kiwi kids who deserve the very best in education. Her ambition is thwarted by her ability to deliver on that front, and we will challenge her time and time again in this House. Why? Because she said very clearly, trade-offs are being made. Trade-offs are being made between class sizes and teacher quality. And parents who are listening to that minister answering questions on those issues are concerned. Members on this side of the House are receiving emails, in fact, on that very matter. And we don't believe that it should be a question of trade-offs in education, but a combination of measures that will improve learning opportunities for all our children and, yes, indeed, our most vulnerable and challenged and disadvantaged learners across this country. Because we don't want any child to miss out and we don't want any child to be left behind. But don't take my word for it. I've got a newsletter that was just produced on Monday from Willowbank uh, School. And, you know, this is a big thing for a school to put out information in their newsletter informing their parents about the impact of Nationals' changes. The Minister in the House today said, you know, an extra one or two kids in a class won't make a fundamental difference, but here's what Willowbank schools say to their parents. Class sizes for year two and three will increase, increasing the number of children per, for reading, writing and mathematics groups, or increasing the actual number of groups a teacher would need to see in a day. This decreases the amount of time a teacher is able to spend with individual children particularly if there are more children in the class requiring extra learning or behavioural support. The early development of literacy in mathematics is crucial as <coughs> curriculum expectations are to be achieved. The Minister's ambition should not be confused with her ability to deliver so that every child is able to achieve an education. All our young children deserve the very best start in school. Establishing a good relationship with their teacher and a teacher who has enough time for one-on-one -on -one engagement really does matter. Labor backs all our children getting the best start at school. National doesn't. They've got a zero plan and with zero outcomes for children in education, which means many will miss out, many will be left, left behind. But again, don't take my word for it. I've got an email from a person in Whangarei, a principal. And he said, it's been blatantly dishonest to the public when to infer that a few extra kids in a class won't make much difference. You know as well as I do that we, you, your cuts will hurt as the very groups that you say you care about, those needing extra help, those falling behind, including those many of our own children who you say you are fighting for. That's from someone in Whangarei, Minister, you have that letter. There's also one from someone in Westport, down in the south, and they're saying we too fear for the future provision of our most vulnerable students in relation to the most recent education policy announcements by that minister.
But again, don't take my word for it. Listen to those people who are experts in the education profession. Minister, you're not, your policies are not working. Mike Saban.